All right, Erie County fam, could you ever imagine living in a country like communist China where this lady lives and the state comes in and tells her she can't live in her house anymore, that she has to be moved by force to live in a different nursing home run by the state? Could you imagine living in China, in communist China like that? Wait a minute. This, this lady doesn't live in communist China. She lives in Wyoming County, New York. And the state is coming along saying that they don't think that she can live in this house because it's not up to the state standards. And, you know, the state has such high standards on living and in, in government programs that, you know, nobody should bat an eye. But um, the fact of the matter is if your mother or grandmother was of this age where she was living in somewhere that she was capable of living, but the state came in and dictated where she could or couldn't live. Could you imagine living in that world and that reality? And that's the reality going on here in Wyoming County. And I bring in this video to your attention because um, this lady needs some help. She needs to fight the court battles before she's placed into a county or state nursing home. If you think you're going to put me into a nursing home, you've got another guest coming. Now, this video comes from a channel called Dave Mangello, and this is actually Dave Mangello here on the screen. And I just want to point out that this is Wyoming County, New York. And if you guys are unaware of who Wyoming County, New York is, let me play you a little clip to remind you where Wyoming County, New York is. This Erie County fam is Wyoming County, New York. Uh, you have to sign in. You have to use your I did name. sign in. Your last name is not Erie County. What are you, one of these sovereign citizens? Demand ID. I'm asking for your ID. Well, Give I'm, your I'm ID. respectfully, I'm going to decline going anywhere until you get a supervisor down here. Not get your hands off me, no, man. No, let's get, go. Get your cameras on. Get let's your cameras go. on. I'm a, I'm a free citizen. You don't have a right to do that. Well, out of a public building. Well, when you I'm, in his, I'm in his public people. space, guys. Look at this. Go down the stairs here. When you make You're people more than welcome to go down the stairs. I'll get out of your way so you can go down the stairs. That's right, Erie County fam. This is... Wyoming County back at it again, demanding citizens leave the home they want to live in and move into the home that they choose fit for them. Can you trust the Wyoming County to make such decisions for people? Or could you imagine your grandmother or mother or loved one being forced by the state to move from the house that you decided after these tyrants here pushed me out of this public building, they earned themselves a lawsuit. And I think it would be rightfully so that the Wyoming County and state earned themselves a lawsuit telling this elderly lady where she can live. Let's go ahead and watch this video. I think it's important that you guys watch this video. And uh, if any of you are feel generous and want to donate to this lady's cause to keep her in the house of her choice over where the government tells her she has to be, there is going to be a link in the description. We're going to play out this video by Dave Mangello, and I think it, you guys should take a look at this video. If you think you're going to put me into a nursing home, you've got another guest coming. The thing I really take to heart is helping people out. This case here in Wyoming County has, is, is really, really serious, and it really affects me because, you know, I look at myself when I get older. I look at my parents when they get older. And I would imagine you would too. Would you want yourself or your parents in this position to be told by the county and state government that you can't decide to live the way you choose to live? Yes, the, the government, the Wyoming County government collaborating with the state is telling citizens that they need better care than what they're getting, even though they're totally happy the way the system is. There's it. approximately three people that have been virtually evicted, in my opinion, illegally. I took it upon myself to reach out to the County Board of Supervisors to try and fix the issue. And um, no, no one really wants to listen. Uh, my main website is, is wakeupny.net. I'm still working on it. Oh, it's always good to get funding. I'm, I'm an auto repair and mechanic on the side, so it's difficult to do this um, and, and, and share people and educate people what goes on in our system and why it's so dysfunctional. There's a reason why America is the way it is, people, is because your local governments are the problem. It starts local, not the president level, not the state level, at your county level, and it can be fixed very easily, but they don't want you to know that. So the website's geared more towards educating people on a local level on your, your jury system, uh, what's going on with the Second Amendment, 
Uh, there's a committee of safety or local committee men, how they fix government. After hearing Barb's story, it is heartbreaking. It is heart-wrenching. There's a, a video I have coming up. I interviewed Bart for a good 20 minutes, and it's just it's heart wrenching to hear the story, what went on, what the Wyoming County government is trying to do to her, and have already done to her and the other residents that are I think moving out next. They have to move out by tomorrow. She still has no place to go because they want to put her basically in a nursing home. If they put her in a nursing home, she's got to give up her dog, even though she's totally happy where she is. The state law stipulates, allegedly, these illegal statutes that if a nursing home doesn't meet or an adult care facility or assisted living doesn't meet certain criteria, you can't choose to live in there. Even though your family wants you there, even though you love the care there, even though it's something you would, you would love to be, it's against the law. You can't do it. And if you choose to try and protect your rights, a judge controlled by the state, Republican judge, I call them fake Republicans, will kick you out of your home and force you into a nursing home. And in the future video, of the coming up part two I have coming up here, Barb's going to state that she was actually in one of these homes in, in the county. They had one guy taking care of 40 patients. One guy, 40 patients. And yet they want to kick her out of a, were three people living in a ranch house with a, a care worker there able to take care of them? This is, this is un, uncalled for. In the following clip here, it shows me walking into your, your Wyoming County Sheriff's Office to ask the sheriff to serve the Wyoming County Grand Jury because your grand jury, which comprises of everyday people, can actually investigate public offices. It says it right in the New York State Constitution. The purpose of the grand jury is to investigate public offices. The beauty of the grand jury system and the trial jury system is that they get to use their heart to judge. You don't have to go off state statutes written by politicians because our politicians, our founding fathers understood that politicians can write bad laws. So they put laws of nature, nature's God, in our Declaration of Independence. And in the Bill of Rights, the Seventh Amendment, they say the common law system, the meaning law that existed prior to the writing of the document. The common law is common sense because it was codified in the Magna Carta over 800 years ago. And it stipulated the grand jury and the trial jury system. And back in 1992, Antonin Scalia, Supreme Court Justice, stated that being the grand jury is only mentioned in the Bill of Rights, it's solely in the hands of the people as a buffer between the people and the government. It's not part of the judicial, executive, and legislative branch of government. It's in your hands. But you don't know that. And grand juries can actually fire their district, uh, prosecuting attorneys. They can write recommendations to government like they have in the past. I got plenty of case history to prove that. They can investigate any government, write a report, tell them we're not doing this. We're not enforcing this bad law. We're, so all the power lies into the grand jury. But the problem is it opens this big Pandora's box. I actually have proof of the grand jury in downstate New York firing their prosecuting attorney. So it's a very powerful entity that can stop abusive county, state gov governments from usurping the rights of the people exactly for situ situations like this where they're trying to kick great people out of great homes. Barb's in her 90s. We don't, and she's got to give, give up her pet. She has give up her pet. She has stated that she'd rather die than move because this has been one of the best homes she's ever lived in. In December, I went to the County Board of Supervisor meeting to disturbingly find out that there's no public speaking at the meeting. I found that odd. I called the county and, and talked to the secretary of the, the county, the supervisors, and she said to, to speak, you need to go to a special committee and then they have to give you permission to speak. That's not freedom of speech. So she, well, she said, uh, well, what, I, what you have to say, give me in writing and I'll put it in their, the agenda. They have a stack of paper for agenda. So I gave her the, the letter and I gave her uh, the letter to the grand jury that I wanted to um, get to the grand jury. And, and note, I was told by a Supreme Court judge and read documents where the grand jury belongs to us. And the judge I talked to says, well, you just draft a letter and give it to the grand jury form and send a certified mail anyway. So I went to the sheriff's department to serve that letter to the grand jury, and the sheriff refused to do it. Later to find out that 
the sheriff's kind of concerned about the law. He's afraid. It's, it's understandable. You got these, these attorneys manipulating the law and scaring the heck out of people. And so they're afraid to do things. Think about it. We're, we're afraid of this, these laws, even though they're unconstitutional and they're you're afraid to act. And this is why a lot of the county governments are afraid to do anything. But I, I, they put this letter in the, the agenda of, the, of the, the meeting in December. I had my phone number. They didn't put the letter to the grand jury in there. And I didn't get no call. So I showed up at your next meeting here in January and I knew there's a, a free speech issue and you couldn't speak to them. So I showed up minutes prior to the meeting and here I addressed your county and they weren't happy. I'm a little upset here that no one reached out to me in regards to this issue. They know how severe it is and how serious it is. Yeah, I needed to have the grand jury foreman served. I was here yeah, a few weeks ago, and they refused to serve this document. So, do you have his name as to who the grand jury person is? Because we're not privy to that either. Nobody so. is. It's against law. So, Correct. so I was instructed by a Supreme Court judge. Okay. okay. Now the so grand. I was instructed by the sheriff that yeah. unless we know who we are serving, we unfortunately cannot serve them. He is out mm -hmm. on the road at the moment. Did someone call you guys? Hmm? Did someone call you guys? No. Before the meeting. But we have families being kicked out on the street by a county judge. Because your health department decided that these people were not fit. The problem is we have county government full of fake Republicans. Re fake Republicans are ones that choose not to enforce our God-given rights. You think our founding fathers put law in place to allow judges to judge us? So you guys might as well give up walk away from here and allow the state government to run the whole county because as it stands right now you're just clowns operating under state democratic party you don't give a shit. so this is the home where they live it's a beautiful ranch home nice back patio this it was kind of windy it's it's fall time but i can picture how nice it is can you imagine growing up or growing old in a in a home like this see a dog was outside of that let the dog in later on but um <laughs> here i'm petting the dog nice bathroom the place was very well kept some you know it's it's it was like living at home and it just disturbs me that the government is telling these people they cannot live in this house anymore it is, it is unheard of. The only, the only way I can think, people, is now getting you involved, voicing your opinion, calling all your local officials, calling your town supervisors, calling the county office, calling the sheriff, and if anything, time to elect new ones next time because they can't even protect your rights locally. Being here until I die, I guess. So if the police show up, what are you going to tell them? And I will not move into a nursing home. You've got another guest coming. Tess Phillips, the Deputy Director of the Wyoming County Office of the Aging, and Paula Brickstand, the Wyoming County Office for the Aging, she's the Fiscal Officer, they both said there's, there's nothing they can do when, when legally they're supposed to apply legal help, supply legal help to people like her to help them legally what's going on. They were, again, they were never served legally with an, a, a legal eviction. And an immigrant would have, you know, squatters would have more rights than these people. But because the government has decided they virtually have no rights and no defense because the government is deciding what's the best for them. Part two, we will be doing, a, we have a fundraising link, going to be connected to it, but if you would like to donate now and offer help in any way, please reach out to me. My number, my number is 716-998-2572. I will put it in the bottom of the, where this video is. Uh, so the website is wakeupny.net. And you can also text me on that number too. So any questions you have whatsoever about how to help, what to do, we are looking to bring the community together and, uh, and try and resolve this issue to help these people that need it more than anything else. Thank you.
Also, my video channel is here under David Mangiello. I have a lot of good information educating people what really goes on in the grassroots, how you can get involved at a, at a grassroots level and have a voice at a state and federal level. There's something they're not telling you local level. Your local politicians are choosing who the presidents are, the congressmen are, and they make them accountable too. But you're not sure and you're never told how the system works. And this is what I get involved with. Erie County fam, just take a look at this facility. I mean, it's not a facility. This is a house. Would your mother, would your father, would your grandmother want to live in a nursing home when they could live in their own house? And, you know, if they take this lady out of the house, they're going to kill her when they take her dog of heartbreak. Could you imagine your grandmother or mother having such a beautiful house to live in, not a facility where they sit down and they can eat dinner together and be personable with people their own age and they have a care person that comes in. Look at this. This is home cooking. They cook for themselves. They take care of themselves here. But the state themselves is telling you, you can't live here. You need to go to our facility. This is an outrage, fam. If this doesn't boil your blood, if this doesn't bother you, there's something wrong with you. Could you imagine living in such a beautiful house than having them tell you, you can't live there? What kind of world do we live in? I, I made a, a joke in the beginning of this clip that you know this is what this lady's living in communist china where they get to dictate where this lady is when did this lady guys folks tell me when did this lady become a slave that she can't decide where she's going to live this something has to be done about this and i'm counting on you guys to help maybe financially to help this lady uh dave's got his number up there and i'm gonna put some links in the description and do what you guys can because this is out of hand. If my grandmother was being forced out of this house so to uh, go to a facility of their choice, can you imagine this lady having to have their dog ripped out of her hands and have to go live where they say? They'll kill this lady. This is this is disgusting, and this is, this is not America, fam. Um, you guys let me know what you think in the comments section. Check out the description. I got the links to... Um, Dave's channel. I got the links to the second video that he did and this lady needs help Why is this door locked sheriff? It's locked. Why? So sheriff, why is this door locked? If they're gonna um, If they're gonna allow public services to public, what is going on here? You guys are violating my rights. There's no rights being violated. There's no rights being violated? No. I can't go to the county clerk's office because of why? I didn't because sure of the camera? get there at some point when you educate your officers about my First and Fourth Amendment rights, they think they can get ID out of me to come into a public building. Do you agree with that, Sheriff? Sheriff, do you have to show ID to get into this public building? Do you have to you show have your to driver's write, license? You have to write your name down there. I did write my name down there, who I am. So what is the problem? Do you have to show ID to get into this building? Because that would be a Fourth Amendment violation, correct, Sheriff? A Fourth Amendment? Fourth Amendment. Unlawful searches and seizures. You cannot demand ID unless you've been suspected of a crime. Reasonable, articulable suspicion, RAS. You know these things. You're a well, sheriff. You're, you're going to be going to, if you want to go to the clerk's office, they're trying to address that right now. Just be a little patient. That's all they're asking. A little for. patient? Okay. I'm being detained out of the, sh the office right now. Nobody's detaining you. You're, you're going around. So, the what office. is your name, sir? It's Gregory Rapp. Gregory. You're the sheriff of the county, but you, you're not willing to admit that it would be a Fourth Amendment violation for them to ID me to get in this building? No. That's perfectly legal here with you, huh? You're gonna eat. You're gonna eat. You're gonna eat those words, sheriff. 